Marty, goalless draw tonight against Plymouth Argyle. Your thoughts over the 90 minutes, first and foremost? Yeah, I'm definitely disappointed because that was not the result that we were looking for. Um, I think that we can look at it in two ways, uh, according to the poor first half we had, especially really, really bad start of the game. We can see chances. In some way, we could say that, that it was good to not go to the halftime uh, yeah, behind. Uh, the other way to look at it is that we play against 10 men during 60 minutes. We really push, we create some chances. I think that during the second half, we really try uh, to play against a team that actually fair play to play, but they did really well defending the low block. We couldn't find a way to really yeah, uh, attack their last line or to create the clear chances. Still, we got some chances through some headers. Linden, I think that Crazy has a cutback from Ely that is a very clear one and they block very well. So there were some situations, but. In that sense, I'm not very happy about the, the final score because the game is scenario after surviving, let's say, the first 20-25 minutes and the first half. Um, yeah, perhaps it's not, it's not uh, yeah, the performance that I'm most proud of. It must be such a frustrating thing to be a manager and to see your opposition down to 10 men but defending so deep like that and working out a way to try and break down a team that everybody sat behind the ball. Yeah, and this is one of the most difficult things in football, uh, not from, from today, but uh, from the whole history of the game. So when a team sets down, lies down with that amount of players, and actually they did really well because the way they were defending on the sides, our crossers, it was not through their side backs, it was through their second line. So they really, really defend with a lot of players inside the box. It was difficult. And perhaps today we miss a little bit this flow that we got in other games about this last touch, this last quality uh, yeah, sport of, of, of some player just to do a little bit of the, themselves, some quality action. Um, today we miss it and that's why at the end we couldn't score. Um, I want to value as well the attitude of the players in today because actually they were very disappointed uh, after the game and that shows that, that the mentality is there. They know that today was a great chance to get very important three points. Um, yeah, They are as disappointed as we are, all of us right now, because it was an opportunity to really take a step in, in the table as well. But that's how it is. I've been saying since I arrived, it will not be all victories, it will not be all good days, all good performances. We need to learn from this one and just try to be stronger for Saturday. Another clean sheet at least, so it's three in a row. That hasn't happened in the league since December 2018. I've been waiting a long time for a defensive run like that and you said you were under pressure at the start of that game and you were able to weather that storm very well. Yeah, it's a positive signal. Obviously, when you don't concede goals, when you don't concede a lot of chances, it's, it's much easier just to get points. But trust me that I will change these seven points uh, on nine points and uh, concede some goals. At the end of the day, for me, it's about the way we play. And, and today, as I said before, I think that we need to analyse why we start the game in such a way, because it was not the start that we want to have, especially at home. Uh, credit to the guys, because they are working. Uh, they are working really, really as much as they can. But then we need to add to the hard work as well. Quality is not about running a lot, but running well and today perhaps positionally in the first half we were not as good as we should be and then to attack a low block as, as it was Plymouth is something that we need to develop. I take it for myself as a manager because I didn't have the time or I didn't spend the time to work on that such a scenario but we're going to work and hopefully we can be better in the future. Does it change the importance of Saturday's game at all against Sheffield Wednesday or is it just business as usual? Yeah, obviously there is a little bit of feeling of, of, of revenge, so to say, that we want to really take uh, three points on, on Saturday. But we are aware that this league <laughs> is very difficult and, and it's a long one. So that's why I want to overview, uh, have a zoom out, so to say, uh, understand that the team is growing. I think that probably after Rotherham, so to say, or five weeks ago, I think that today is a game that perhaps we could have lost. So in that sense, I want to still take some positive of today's game but at the same time I'm ambitious, the, the guys are ambitious, everybody wants to get better and yeah, we want to have a good performance on Saturday to make sure that we finish the week in a, in a good way. Cheers Marty, thanks for the time, appreciate it mate. Thank you very much.